In this video, I'll be sharing with you the best new 2020 expensive smelling cheap fragrance in my collection. I couldn't wait more to share this fragrance with you. It is new in my collection when I unboxed the fragrance. When I sniffed it by the first sniff. Wow, are you serious? I'm talking about Warm Black by House of Zara. I'm not sure about date of release because I couldn't find any article or review before 2020. I believe this is 2020 release from House of Zara. About scent profile, I have to say this is one of those way more expensive smelling fragrances compared to the price. I purchased this one around 15 bucks. This is EDT concentration and believe me, it smells very niche and very expensive. Atmosphere of fragrances, oriental spicy. It is not easy to wear type of fragrance. I can say not complimenting. I don't believe that is a complimenting fragrance. But if you are into this type of fragrances, niche, outstanding, a bit challenging, daring type of fragrances, this one is absolutely for you. It is a daring fragrance, but not overwhelming type of daring. Main players are here. Tobacco I can get, vanilla, a lot saffron and clove. And slightly leathery nuances is available here at the background, but mostly I can get saffron and cloth here a lot. If you ask me about top 10, the most expensive smelling cheap fragrances in my collection, to be honest, this one is at top 5 easily right now for me. It smells very expensive, reminds me of Tom for Tobacco Vani. I can say very watered down version of that fragrance. Also, I can get a lot kind of red tobacco by Mansara than this. Parfums de Molly Herod, I cannot say that or pure heaven maybe 10 percent it is sweet tobacco based fragrance if you are into this type of fragrances like not that much parfums the molly herod but red tobacco by mansara tobacco vanille by tom ford pure heaven 10 percent after uh, three four hours at the very late try down i can get a little bit pure heavenly vibe than this fragrance as well if you like this type of fragrances this one is a must have for you by this price you cannot go wrong by this one 15 bucks I was reading about Tom Ford Tobacco Vanny, but I couldn't find any clove note in the note breakdown of that fragrance and this one as well. But for whatever reason, this fragrance smells very clovey. On my skin, dominated, notice clove after that is tobacco and sweet notes and saffron. For me, this fragrance is like at first clove based, then tobacco, then another sweet notes. Also reminds me of another fragrance in my collection, which I love it so much. Discontinued and I don't dare that much to wear it. No umbrella by Isimiaki like that fragrance. There is some vibes in this one as well, like plasticky sweet vibe, which is available in the no umbrella as well because of mix of saffron and amber together. But in this one is saffron and clove gives you some vibe like plasticky vibe and that sweetness and plasticky vibe together reminds me of no umbrella by Isimaki so much so i can say this fragrance is a very great value for your money to be honest because by this price by 50 bucks reminds me of a lot of fragrances over 150 bucks like Isimaki no umbrella like red tobacco like town for tobacco vanny like a bit herod i can say it is very expensive smelling cheap fragrance about performance to be honest i cannot say to this fragrance a performer at all it is like in terms of longevity, it is okay. Let's say to this one, okay, because it's four or five hours or good four hours in terms of longevity. You can sniff the fragrance easily on your skin, but in terms of projection and sillage, I can say to this one, below average. Like you're gonna get 20, 30 minutes sillage projection. After that, second 30 minutes is very weak, I can say. Then let's say to this one, 30 minutes below average projection and sillage. Scent of this fragrance is dressed up. Even very dressed up, like Sudan Thai or Bow Thai Tuxedo. Very dressed up and nighttime smelling type of fragrance. That's why I don't suggest you for casual situations. I believe the best season for this type of fragrances are fall and winter. It is not that powerful for winter, but by this scent profile, by this performance, I would prefer this fragrance better for spring and fall. Not winter, not summer. Personally, I always spray this fragrance and I suggest you the same thing, like 10, 12 sprays. Not because of longevity, longevity is okay, will not help to the longevity, but it will help a lot to projection and sillage. If you do over a spray, if you go by 10 sprays, you're gonna get first hour noticeable projection and sillage, but by 3-4 sprays, you're gonna get like weak projection and sillage for first half an hour. 
Don't forget to subscribe the channel that was today's video. I hope it was useful. If you have any opinion, suggestion, question, let me know in the comments below. I will answer you. See you in another video.